We'll figure it out somehow. Hmm. <laughs> we got them going now. <laughs> Those two aren't flowers. They're... they're puppets. Yeah, let's find out who's controlling them. for a good lie. <laughs> you got that right, Bluster. With the whiffles not working, the silver lining's ours. We'll turn the whole place into Blusterland. Oh, the world's first theme park for baddies. Hey, we will have got to have fun, too. <laughs> Where that petunia patch sits, I think I'll put a state-of-the-art concession stand. <laughs> <laughs> we got to stop them. But how? I have an idea. Oh, hey, what? Hello? Hello? I got no flower power. Mission accomplished. Heading home. Anybody seen cheer? Yeah, right here. Oh. Maybe you should take the controls this time. Hey, so you made a mistake. It happens. You're still the one who... I'm the one who lost focus. Cheer, everyone has an off day now and then. We still trust you. But the problem is, I don't trust myself. I'll co-pilot. I think I can still handle that. Whatever you say, boss. It's deep enough for their vehicle and all five of them. Six, if you count the Wiffle guy. <sighs> It'll do. But we still need to disguise this thing. I'm on it. <laughs> Not bad, my felonious friend. Now all we need is something to bake the bears. There it is again! Cheer! Ah, I mean, Grumpy. They're about 500 yards east. Here they come. Uh, shouldn't we sort of be getting out of here? I should, but not you. Why not me? Remember I said we need bait? You're it! <laughs> Make sure they see you. Tires? Ha! Got you now. Hmm. A mistake is a chance to learn. The only failure is not taking that chance. Look out! It's a trap! You're a really nice person. Me? Nice? Why, that is the most insulting thing I've ever heard! Buster Possible Bosses, you are just so caring. I'm... What? Caring and sharing. Sharing, too? Oh, ridiculous. Oh, Rob, you're even more caring than the Care Bears. Ah! How dare you? You called me nice. You called me caring. You called me a Care Bear. You called me sharing. I did not. You did, too. That's it. I quit. You can't quit. You're fired. You can't fire. Funny. Why aren't you laughing? I got one more thing to do. 
Hello? Ah, uh, hi, Mr. York. York. No, no, no. I I'm not here to insult you. Look, I'm the one who ran into your toe and made fun of you. Hey, I never meant to hurt you. I was just trying to be funny, but I wasn't. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for your toe and and for hurting your feelings. Yorg. It's all oh, good, buddy. Yeah, 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 that's it. He's back. There you go. Yorg. Nicely done. <laughs> good for you, Funshine. I'm proud of you, kiddo. And that's no joke. Look, I know I've been a pain. It's just this project's really important. I can't get it to come together right. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with you. It's okay to feel... Frustrated? Out of sorts? Grim? Grouchy? And dare we say... Grumpy? Grumpy? I'll try to be nicer. Your ice cold waffle boofles. Er, whipper waffles. Whipple waffles! Ice whipple waffle cones! But, 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 who cares what they're called? Thanks to my brilliant plan, they don't have any. <laughs> when they quit and move out, we'll move in and make the icelings work the dessert booth in my food court. <laughs> you mean if somebody else doesn't move in first? <gasps> Care Bears! So what's the plan to stop them, huh, boss? Huh? Something evil, wicked, mean, bad, and nasty? Not to mention brilliant? Hmm, would you expect anything else? Okay, here's the plan. Find the Iceling secret ice cavern, get to the bottom of what's happening, and make these Whiffles happy again. Okay, where's Cher? The Icelings might be in danger. It's best if you all go. I'm gonna stay here and make these Whiffles happy. I'll whip up some icy cold whiffle waffle cones. Good idea, but a big job. Yeah, making ice cold desserts in this heat is gonna take some doing. One of us can stay and help you. No, no, I can handle this all on my own. It'll be a piece of cake with ice cream. <laughs> to sleep. Ever heard of the recipe for Whiffle Snooze? Uh. Whiffle Snooze. The Whiffle version of a nice long nap. Recite this lullaby forward, lest you have backward results. Sleep, sleep, no wake. A Whiffle Snoozing, Whiffle Snoozing. A Whiffle Snoozing, Whiffle Snoozing. There. Got it. Thanks, bedtime. Sorry to wake you. Oh, and re remember to only use it in an emergency because it will make the Whiffles sleep for a hundred years. All right. Here we go. Here we go. 
All right, here we go. Sleep, sleep, no wake. A whiffle snoozing, whiffle snooze, za, za, zing. It's working! isn't coming from Carolot. It's coming from Blusterland. I, I mean, here, here. <laughs> Cloud Seeker, this is carrying control. Cheer, come in. We're baking a big welcome home cake just for you. No, Cheer, that's not me. It's a fake. Don't listen to it. It's not me. <laughs> okay, now that our broadcast is connected to the rainbow converter, our stairs should boost the signal all the way to Blusterland. I'm sorry I doubted you. It's all right, my friend. You ready? Oh, yeah. Something burning. Still caring, still sharing. Ah! There's only one way across that. Okay, you got a nail it this time, Funshine. <laughs> Ginger snap, old school, upside down, double dip, back twist, alpha, alpha, ollie. Ah! Nailed it. Oh, no. I'll never find it now. I'm sorry, Cheer. I'll find a way to make it up to you. I promise. You didn't do it on purpose, Funshine. I know that. I'm not mad at you. You forgive me? That's what friends do when they care about each other. Can you forgive me? I never should have dragged you into this. No biggie, bro. I can fix this. Wow, Funshine! It works perfectly! Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Now that's magic. Thank you, Cheer, for being my friend. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, oh. Huh. Whoa, talk about my act going from bodacious to bogus. Not your fault, bro. It was my shamrock. Sorry, guys. Well, no use in looking back now. What's done is done. Right. So we just have to start where we are and work together to fix the problem. I could try my juggling act again. But this time, practice makes perfect. And while you practice, we'll keep trying too. Da -da -da -da. 
Shamrock or not, we believe in you, kiddo. Yeah, bro, you got this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I got this one. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I need a double-headed bolt flipper. Dimple, can you hand me the... Oh, yeah. She's not here. Well, that's good. No more fun and games. <laughs> now I can get more work done. <sighs> what a silly song. <laughs> we think Bluster may be in Morning Glory Grove. Oh, no. It's so beautiful there. Indeed it is. Do you think you'll be able to stop him? I'll see how Grumpy's coming along. Oh. So is there anything I can do to help this go, you know, faster? No, I'll figure it out fast as I can. Of course, of course. But maybe if Devil were here, she could... She could what? Goof around? Sing? Have fun? Hard work is hard, cheer. <laughs> Still not right. I just don't get it. If you think of anything we can do, let us know. Hmm. I've thought of everything I can think of. I need to start thinking. Outside the box. Uh, like Dibble. Dibble? Huh. Huh. I know you're mad at me. And you have every right to be. Hmm? Huh. I'm sorry. I was frustrated with my invention, and I took it out on you. That was wrong. Without you around, work is just work. You made it something more. Hmm? Will you come back, Dibble? Please? I miss your spirit. I miss you. <laughs> Come on, my friend. Okay, I give up. Why did Bluster dump me in this dump? I bet you're wondering why I brought you here. Right now, my pals are tracking your nasty vibes like radar. They'll be here any minute. Au contraire. We're surrounded by mountains that will block any form of tracking or communications. Oh, 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 then they'll just follow the tire tracks your bluster mobile left when you brought me here. Really? Ooh, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm impressed with Bluster's driving. He's been practicing. Bluster, what do you want already? I want to tell you how to escape from my maze. You just go straight ahead, then beep. Oh, oh okay, I, I, hang on, I got another call. Ah! Hmm. Hey, I told you to hang on. Huh? Oh. Act now for a free membership at Blusterland Gym. Ah! Oh boy, Grump Rump. Your anger plus my genius equals success. <laughs> huh? 
Aw, oh, poor guy. I know how you feel. We'll get you out of here. Ready? Ali! Good luck, little fella. No, I don't believe it. Uh. Is it bluster? Yes, but first, there's something you need to see. What's he doing? He copied the map to the Cavern of Karen? And gave it to Bluster. I just saw him do it. <gasps> oh, man. No. Oh, you're all up. I, I just went out for some air. And to give Bluster a map so he could steal the seeds of caring. You... you know about that? Plunk, we opened our home and our hearts to you. No, please, I, I can explain. Tell it to us on your way out. Okay, it's true. I gave Bluster a copy of the map, but I made some mistakes when I copied it. Wait, what kind of mistakes? The kind Bluster is really, really not gonna like. He sent us the wrong way! Now that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so you're one of the good bad guys. You were right to not trust me. Bluster sent me here to find a way into the Cavern of Caring. But after getting to know all of you, I, I couldn't do anything to hurt you. Or the Whiffles. Aww. The Cloud Saker is gonna come right through here. We have to build a barrier to stop it from destroying your home. Yes, we help. Do you have anything bouncy, so when the Cloud Seeker hits it, it'll bounce off? Hmm. Yes, yes. Bouncy? But it needs to be stronger. Bouncy and strong, but will it be strong enough? <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. Everybody back! Seeker! Totally! We not only lose our home, but our only way back to Carolot. Either we lose our home or the Wiffles lose theirs. Come on, guys. We're Care Bears. Our mission is to nurture, support, and protect. Now, as much as it costs us, we have to protect the Wiffles and their home, no matter what. I don't see anything but trees. Ooh, listen, listen! Just the wind, Dibble, blowing through the tops of the trees. That's why they're called the Singing Pines. No, no, listen, listen! Hit the outside mics. Dibble's right, it's not the trees. <laughs> figure that is. I never saw anything like it. Maybe Caring Control has a clue. <laughs> Tenderheart, we've come across something, but
but we don't know what. You guys seeing this? Bedtime here. They look like baby sun whiffles. Small creatures who absorb sunlight and take it where it's needed to nurture plants. How about that other one? Off on its own. Looks like it's trying to join the others. That one I'm not sure about. I'll look into it and get back to you. Uh, hey, where is Dibble? Uh, 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 Dibble! Where'd you go? Ooh! Hi! Dibble! <laughs> Looky, look! Who's this? Dibble's new friend. Hello there. We're Care Bears. Who are you? Riffle, Riffle. Riffle. Cute name. Let's get those guys out of here. No, wait. They said the Cloud Seeker makes them feel special. I think they just need to belong. I think you're right. Can you transfer me to the pilot's monitor? Ooh, what's that over there? Whoa! Bigger than the Cloud Singer. Shinier than the sparkly heart. Pretty! <laughs> We gotta get there first. Mine, mine, <laughs> mine! Welcome to the Festival of Hearts. You're both invited. Join us! What's happening? We've been invited. Uh-uh, that's impossible. Nobody invites us to anything. Um, and why are they celebrating? We have the heart crystal, so they don't have any sparkly gifts. Yeah, they ought to be miserable, but they're... they're happy! <laughs> oh, maybe it isn't shiny things that make them happy. Maybe it's what she said. Yep, the love in their hearts. The Festival of Hearts. It's about happiness. The happiness that comes from sharing the love we have in our hearts. Huh? Uh-oh is right. We've run out of paint. How many more eggs do we need to color? Oh, many, many, and several more. Can we get more paint? Not in time to finish the eggs and for you to get to Earth. Oh, oh, oh sad news. Sad indeed. The children are sure to be disappointed. are the eggs I hid for you. Supposed to wait till morning. The rules, you know. For kids! For kids! Oh, Dibble. She wants you to have these for the children on Earth. Oh, that's kind, my child. Awfully kind. But I'm afraid there still aren't nearly enough. Not nearly. Ooh, ooh. That's cool, Dibs, but is this the time to be playing with... Huh? Ooh, hey! That's a great idea! But wait! We'll need more colors to... More colors! More colors! More bubbles! More bubbles! Of course! I can add all the colors of the rainbow! And I can make more bubble blowers! Hurry! Hurry! find out what's happening to those hearts. They're mine! 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 But they're not yours. 
A mother needs them to bring her children home. Uh -huh. Oh, my, my! <laughs> Wait! This is going to take more than hugs. It's going to take something we've never done before. A combination, group hug, and Care Bear Stare. The Care Bear's Power Hug. Yes! yes. Let's do this! <laughs> But now, I'm all alone. Maybe not. She said, thank you. You're very welcome. And now, could you please find it in your heart to make a home for him, too? they do, everything is struggling. Even the master can't keep a seedling healthy. Here, I've got the info. According to the records, while the rumbler's behavior might be considered rude, it's invaluable to the environment. Their antics turn stony ground soft. Their instincts lead them to find unplantable ground, then they improve the soil and move on. In fact, their arrival is a sure sign that the soil is in desperate need of pulverizing. Oh, thanks, Bedtime. That explains why the Wiffles can't get anything to grow. We fail to appreciate the unique talents of our noisy neighbors. You mean I messed up, big time. If the garden is to flourish, we have to get the Rumblers to return. That's on me. I made them go, I'll bring them back. Is that what I think it is? Yep, looks like Funshine got the Rumblers to race him back here. They couldn't resist the challenge. Oh, yay! <laughs> It'll only be a few more days. When the rumblers are done playing, the soil will be ready. 
then they'll move on. You'll dig it, your mastership. Your plant will grow humongous. Good news. Dibble and I have been in the workshop whipping up something we all need. Earplugs. Ta-da! Watch out, Grumblers! Something seriously strange is going on? Yeah, every day. What's wrong? Oops, forgot to test them. They must have too much power. Oh no, the noise is disturbing the peaceful persimmons. What's going on? The voltage framisators are frying. The what? The extra persimmon protectors. What? protectors. The ones you told me to duplicate. Um, we'll talk about this later. Right now, we have to save the persimmons. Quick, go calm down the whiffles. I'll shut down the protectors. <laughs> there, there. Hey, hey, they're there. Come on. Whoa, I've never seen Cheer move so fast. It's like she's everywhere at once. Cher was right. I've been working way too hard. <laughs> oh, Cher, are you all... Whoa! Um, what's going on? That's what I want to know. Where'd you two come from? I tricked Cher into duplicating me so I could have help protecting the persimmons. And how did you get here? I just remember I was resetting the scanners. <gasps> the scanners! That's when I was duplicating the carburetors. I must have accidentally duplicated you too, Cheer. Wow, this is one emergency I didn't see coming. Guess you can't prepare for everything. That's my motto! Even when you work your hardest. And after watching how hard they were working, I realized something. You were right. It's good to take a break when you need one. Ooh, ooh, Dad. Huh? Oh, this is Fearless Frida, the bravest bear in the world. Superhero, super courage. Nothing scares her. Whoa. Nothing? Uh-uh, nope. Oh, wait. There was a monster that frightened her, but she went ahead and faced it anyway. Huh, now that's bravery. Dibble be like Frida. Dibble be like Frida. <laughs> okay, sounds good to me. You can be Daring Dibble, the bravest Whipple in the world. What's missing? Every superhero worth their cape needs one of these, just like we Care Bears have. Check it out, your very own bravery belly badge. Ooh, Dibble feel brave. Yeah, yeah <laughs> super brave. Doing Dibble. You spoke to me, but I couldn't hear. What did you say? Listen. Listen. Listen to what? I know what we have to do. We'll be back. Don't go outside while we're gone, okay? Don't listen to the wind. It lies. Foolish man. Foolish man. Go back. Never find your way.
Does he know where we're going? Maybe the wind was right. Shouldn't we turn around and go back? I know you have doubts and fears. I feel them too. I... Listen, Tenderheart. Listen to your... To what? Please, tell me! I know where we're going. Up there. He's waiting for us. Who is? The Watchful One. before in a dream it wasn't a dream tenderheart it was real you saved me the winds led you astray i brought you here to learn the things you need to lead the care bears i've been watching and you've led them well <laughs> seal of approval? Hmm, not bad. But still, one more test. I call this test Grumpy's Dust Sniffer Outer, because when it comes to dust, my nose always knows. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you, team. Ah. The Cloud Seeker smells like Fresh laundry hanging in a breeze. Not a speck of dust. If I was grading you, I'd give you all an A. 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 Achoo! Gesundheit? <sighs> Why, there must be dust lurking inside this closet. <laughs> what? Huh? Achoo! Play new game now. Yes, it's called Find the Cloud. Seeker. Yes. <laughs> Let's go! It was somewhere around here, but with all these plants, I'm not sure we'll ever find air. Cloud Seeker is under all this? But how? Ew. Bad job. Messy, messy. Can you make it go away? Oh, you betcha. Leaf, go! <laughs> Wibble's getting tired. 
We're safe for now. But the silver lining isn't. Fighting them is getting us nowhere. If only we could get caring to spread as fast as these bad plants, our jobs would be a lot easier. Wait, that's it! What Sheer just said. What? Caring. Whoa. Now? Are you sure? What? Caring. Yes, instead of fighting, we should be caring. We can share our caring with the plants. So as the scribble puffs spread, they'll also be sharing the caring. Uh, guys, it's now or never. Let's do this. Ready? Bring it on. Everybody, share your care. It worked? We'll soon see. Come on, you scribble puffs. Share that care. Dibble, what are you doing? Dibble caring. You'll be caring too, okay? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Like I always say, never underestimate the power of caring and sharing. Cheer, I think we have a problem down at the gnome's cave. All their flowers are frowning, and I just met Gus and Garth's uncle. Very unfriendly. You think he's up to something? Yeah, and whatever it is, it's not good. I'll get my scooter. Where is it? Where'd you hide it? Where'd you hide it? Hey, you two. We can hear you all the way outside. Why are you shouting at each other? Oh, this is just a gnome family game. Nothing to see here. He, he took, took my crystal, crystal heart. heart! I thought you were both sharing it. <laughs> we were, until he swiped it. Oh, no, you swiped it! Hey, I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. You care too much about each other to let a misunderstanding tear you apart. Well, the boys are fine. Just doing what comes naturally to greedy gnomes. Please, Garth, Gus, remember how the crystal heart changed your greed. Think back and remember. The heart crystal is my gift to you two. But remember, only love will make it work. Whoa. Thanks. I remember. I'm not greedy. And I'm so sorry, Gus. I remember too, and I'm sorry, Garth. No! You! You've ruined their beautiful greediness! But greed isn't beautiful. Caring and sharing is the way to go! And when we start feeling greedy again, we just have to do something caring for someone else, and the greed will go away. Caring time! <laughs> We have to get him to that lake before sunrise. Whoa. No, Cloud Seeker is too big for this part of the journey. We'll have to take the scooters. you to go either, but there's no choice. This is just how it has to be. We have to think of what's important. You know, like the big picture? Tenderheart says we all grow, we all change, 
we move on to other things. That's just how it is. Do you see, my friend? <laughs> Do you? Do you see? Look, scary. They will not care how you look. Why? Why, you're a wiffle. How come you're not scared of me? I'm so scary looking. They will not judge by looks. Maybe you strawberry, not tomato. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Yep, strawberry. They will be your friend. You'd be friends? With me? You betcha. Come on. Get you more friends. We go see Care Bears. <laughs> so there you have it. He's from Blusterland and just wants to make friends with the Wiffles. But Wiffles all scared. They run away because how he looks. But Mossy nice. Mossy? Bluster called me Monster Plant. Oh, you know Monster. You made of moss. So Dib will name you Mossy. I like that. Oh, how I wish I could live here. My roots planted in the warm ground, sunshine on my face, surrounded by friends. Aww. You're For sure. Good yeah. guy. Gotta be a way to convince the Wiffles he's a good guy. That's awful nice of you, but I don't think there's any way someone who looks like me can... No, no. Cheer's right. No problem, Moss dude. You're with the Care Bears. It's my day. Just incredible. Look, look me. It's them! It's them! The bad crowd is coming! Oh no! Oh. Bad crowd, bad crowd on our beach! It's inversion. She distracts us, then the other dudes charge in. Uh, we're trapped! There's no escape! Mm, I don't think that's her plan. Robbie, hello! Long time! Listen, you guys gotta turn it! What? No way! What's a beach party without a dance beat? Listen, give me a break, huh? If you don't turn down the music, Bluster's gonna get really mad. At us? Well, duh, of course at you. And at you. Oh, that too. Hey, help me out, will ya? We're all stuck here till the time lock opens on Malcolm's magnificent weather joe. <sighs> Look. Look, I'm just trying to cut a deal here. You don't bother us, I promise we won't bother you. Fair? Give us a minute. So you guys heard what she... Mmm, that smells good. Veggie kebabs. So you heard Robbie's offer? Uh, yeah, and I vote forget it. DJ and our dance party's my thing. I don't want my tunes stifled. Besides, how can we trust her to keep her part of the deal? She works for Bluster. I'd say, give her a chance. What? She works for Bluster, but she doesn't like him. Yep, I agree with Grumpy. Ugh. I'm in. Okay, we'll give her a chance. I'm sorry, but what if I can't fix it? Then what'll we do? 
Remember what Tenderheart used to tell us. Believe in yourself. If you fail, try again. Have confidence in yourself. I know you can fix it. You know, I just wasn't confident when I built this thing. I was too worried about what might happen, instead of just believing in myself. Pika does not need more worry. Grumpy fix Riffle so please. Don't worry, guys. I'm on the case. Come on, Grump Powerbot. We're gonna make it happen. There. Now you can handle our Care Bear Stare. Part one of the problem solved. Now for part two. Listen up, everyone. Our Care Bear Stare was weak because I didn't believe it would work. I'm confident it will work now. Can we try again, but with our new and improved Grump Bot? Yeah! yeah. Ready? Ready! Absolutely! Care Bear Stare! That should do it. to stick together. Well, we did until stuff started moving and then we, uh, well, didn't. Help! Help! Listen, that's good luck. I hear him. Me too. Yeah! Dude, talk about super hearing. Oh, you can all be my sidekicks. Fun shine, we can play later. But right now, we have to find good luck. I am stupendo. And I'm on it. Won't let you down, bro. Help! Hey! Up here! Oh, oh no! Hmm. Oh yes! This calls for Extra Super Stupendo Bear! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, bro. Whew. Don't thank me yet, dude. I don't know if this is gonna work. I thought of putting it in the first issue, but then I was like, nah, nobody'd believe even Stupendo could do it. Do what? Well, uh, this! No! So, what do you think? Put it in the first issue, too crazy, in, out, what? Oh! Huh, yeah. <laughs> oh. ah, fun time. Turn it off! Uh-oh, it's stuck. I need help. <laughs> My detector, it found the water. What are you doing? Why'd you point it at the sky? Cause that's where the water's going. Up there. Ah, but we can all see there's nothing up there. I'm sorry, Funshine, but Grumpy's right. The only logical explanation is the detector isn't working right. Oh, it's working perfectly. The water's going into the sky. We can hear it, but for some reason, we just can't see it. Blaster, that's enough! The other thing you gotta learn is being bad means there's no such thing as enough! <gasps> That's enough! Look! The big blob! 
been bluster? <laughs> We did it! Great detective Super work, cool. Sunshine. Oh, yeah. Ding. Oh. I'm here to take what's mine. So gimme! Shine says, we try! And if that doesn't work, we try again! like bedtime's math. What are your instincts telling you, Cheer? <laughs> that this is going to get worse before it gets better. Uh, no use. We've lost touch with them. We have no idea where they are. Uh, we know exactly where they are. Uh, unless, of course, the map is, in fact, uh, wrong. What does your instinct tell you, Bedtime? <laughs> you mean intuition? Guesswork? Goodness, tender heart, really, let's keep our wits about us. Let me fix us all a nice bit of uh, toast and uh, jam. <laughs> Nothing like it to uh, calm the nerves. <gasps> Bedtime. 
time. Why is that page thicker than the others? What? Where? Who? Oh, uh, you mean this? Uh, oh my! Oh dear! I must have stuck them together with jam! Oh my! Oh. Oh? Oh dear. Oh. Woohoo! I've set them the wrong way! Where are they now? If they're in the bubble bog, they're in great danger! Oh no! Perhaps if we... Oh, dear, what have I done? We could bounce a signal off this part of the canyon, then that one over there, then here off this. After that, we may get in touch with them. It's worth a try. Bears, listen up. Fog make bears small like Mac. Duck bears, duck! Ducks? What's the mini-dude talking about? Looky, look! Hey! What's oh, going what's on? Major fogginess. <laughs> trying to warn us about. What's with that weird fog? I'm calling Karen Control. Bedtime might know something about it. The bad news is you got caught in a blinky, shrinky fog. One touch and you're miniaturized. The good news is it's always followed by a blinky, biggy fog that will reverse the miniaturization process. What do we have to do? You'll need to be high enough off the ground to touch the blinky, biggy fog as it passes by. What happens if we miss it? I'm afraid your miniaturization will be permanent. <gasps> Better get yourselves as high off the ground as possible. We got that covered. Dibble can take us to one of the berry trees. We can climb high enough to touch the fog. Good, because according to my research, the Blinky Biggie should arrive at any moment. Can you see it yet? No. Hey, Dibble, you see a new fog coming? <laughs> hey, can one of you guys bounce high enough to see if there's a fog coming? No problem, dude. Good luck. Give me a big send-off on your end. Ready, set, fog time! <coughs> and we have liftoff! Hey, Dibble, what's up? Me, that's what! Hi, Bunshine! Uh-oh, we got a fog coming in! Whoops! Still find her ball. No, things lost in Silver Island stay lost forever. Dibble's ball is with the keeper. Keeper. Huh? Huh? I know it sounds strange, but the keeper is more than a local legend. According to my research, all lost items in the silver lining are transported to the Keeper and become his property. Where is this guy? We'll just go ask for Dibble's ball back. He supposedly lives in the Canyon of the Lost, but it's a long journey. I don't know if it's worth the risk for just a ball. <coughs> Secure the decks. Stow all gear. We're going on a road trip.
Cher is right. Apologies are about what's going on in their hearts. Oh, wait! Um, listen, I just wanted to say I apologize to you because I really didn't want you to feel bad. But when I apologized to the mushroomy thingy guy, it was... Uh, it was more about me because I didn't know why he was laughing. You have a good heart. You will be a good gardener. I'm proud of you for going through with this, Grumpy. Grumpy be king of Wiffles? Not stay with us anymore? Don't worry, kiddo. It's all gonna work out. I hope. I shall perform my official first act as your new head gardener. <laughs> I'm truly sorry, mushroomy thingy. I realize now that someone might be hurt on the inside, even though it doesn't look that way on the outside. I'm also sorry to say that I regret not wanting to be your new head gardener. <gasps> I still have so much work to do with my fellow Care Bears to keep the silver lining safe for all. But the most important reason is you deserve a better head gardener than I could ever be. So, using my authority as your new head gardener, I'm giving the job back to your old head gardener. Oh. Phase two is in position. Phase two, in position. She didn't switch the seats. I didn't think she could be trusted. Plunk to the rescue! What are you doing? That's the wrong seed. No, that's the wrong seed. No, that's the wrong seed. Stop that. That's the right seed. No, then I'm just trying to go. That's deep enough! Robbie, stand by to launch the seed! Huh. Ten, nine, uh -oh. uh, uh, eight, seven! Which one's which? I, I'm not sure I know! Yeah, you gotta know! You handled bad seeds when you lived in Westerland, and you've handled seeds of carrots. What are you doing? Something I hope I don't regret for the rest of my life. I'm trusting you. Two, one. It's this one. Zero. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? A seed of caring. Dibble, look at you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Grumpy. Dibble still Dibble. <laughs> yeah, you are, aren't you? You're still Dibble. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> and I'm still Grumpy. That gold rock, it had a different shape from the others. I remember it. Come on, Dibble. I think I remember where it is.
colors of the rainbow in there. All of those. And many more. is a shapeshifter. No! No! Wait, let us help you. Let me be. There's nothing you can do to help. It's all his fault. Wait. Who started it all? Huh? huh? We were once a single being called the Clatter Track. Sometimes we were silly, sometimes we were serious. But he thought that playtime was all the time. If it was up to him, we'd never have any fun. He was always acting silly. He got us into big trouble. Oh, no. It got so bad, we began to magically change from one to the other. He's always goofing off. And he's always trying to stop me. Oh. Oh, why can't you leave me alone? Oh, why can't you behave? You're a bully. You're a goof-off. Mag. Clown. Oh, buzz off. Not till you behave. Wait, please. You need to accept each other. There's time to have fun, and there's time to tone it down. He'll never learn. He'll never listen. Look, I'm a no-nonsense kind of guy. But even I know you gotta kick back and have fun sometimes. No one likes fun more than me, but there are times when you gotta buckle down and do what you gotta do. Go ahead. You can do it. Well, I'll try if you will. This is the cutting edge of cloud research. Dibble's a unique little dudette, so if I scope out what she does, <laughs> I can learn the unique stuff it takes to make a cloud. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Muddy, mud. Oh! Okay, this is it. Here comes her. Mud pie? Huh. Whee! I don't get it. What's unique about that? Would you look at that kid? Pure joy. <laughs> Having so much fun. It's like she's floating on a cloud. <gasps> so that's how she does it. Joy, pure joy. Which means to get my own cloud, I just got to experience the same thing. <laughs> Piece of cake. Oh boy. Muddy mud, mud, muddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, can Dibble help Funny Shine? Only if you can help me get so happy that I feel joy like you do. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> hey, good luck. What's up? Hey. Well, I just wanted a call to... What'd you say? You're breaking up. Must be the same interference that knocked out my nav computer. <gasps> what happened to your nav computer? We're lost, bro. But Grumpy's never failed navigational system... Failed. We need your sense of... We lost the connection. Oh, oh no. Yikes. 
Thanks so much for being so nice to me, but I'm afraid I have to go. My friends are in trouble. We understand. But I promise to return if you ever need my help again. Oh, good luck to you. to the Cloud Seeker. That way! Uh-oh! Still not working right. Right? Right? Left is right! Good luck! Vibes have messed up my nap computer and your nap maps. Hmm, maybe they can work together with my sense of direction. Tree up ahead. Think I'm right at the next tree. Hey, that thing is sounding more like you, dude. You're unscrambling it. Reprogramming it to think like you. You got it running. It's not really fixed, but my emergency repair ought to hold. If we're, you know, lucky. <sighs> I've brought my bloom bubbles with only minutes to spare. Uh, uh, careful now. Easy, uh, easy. Uh, no worries. I weighed it down even more, so there's no chance it can float away. Uh, uh. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> Follow the lousy rock! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, everyone! They're beautiful. More beautiful than I could have dreamed. I... I don't understand. I think I do. It was because of our friend Good Luck. When he broke the reverse control, it kept us from backtracking and wasting time. Taking the short, steep road was faster than the long, easy road. And that crazy noise from the engine helped you find the Cloud Seeker. And when he dropped the trunk, it mixed the bubbles together. And that's what made the flowers so very beautiful. <laughs> Could you, um, switch places with me? Yeah, I'll come up there and work on the tower, and, uh, you can come down here. Um, sorry, Cheer. Now isn't a good time. But you're so good at feeling out how to be, and then I'm not. Then just be who you are, a leader. Use your leadership skills for the problem at hand. You can do this. Right. I'll just adapt. I can do this. <laughs> Dibble, I'm making you team leader of the new Junior Care Bears. <gasps> Whoa! We have a job to do. <laughs> you Junior Care Bears now. We got a job to do. What's the holdup? 
And what's all that crying about? <sighs> Don't worry, Grumpy. I've got this. Listen up, Junior Care Bears. It's time to play the missing part game. Whoever finds it first wins. Yay! <laughs> your prize, Gibby. You get to put this important part in place. Yeah! When I granted your wish, I made you all funny all the time. <laughs> all the time? You didn't tell me that. Oh, didn't I? Then I guess the joke's on you. Dude, that isn't funny. No one ever tells the Laughing Puff he isn't funny. Well, you're not. So, you want to break the terms of the wish, huh? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to have... A contest. For a fixed period of time, you must not laugh, giggle, chuckle, or even sniss, 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 snigger, while I, the Laughing Puff, do my best to crack you up. <coughs> huh? If you succeed, I shall remove the spell, but if you fail... Huh? You'll spend the rest of eternity as my audience, laughing at all my jokes forever. Yeah. What do you say? If that's the chance I gotta take to unwish this bogus wish, then I'm in. <laughs> this is how long you must keep a straight face. Remember, one laugh, and you lose. Yikes. <sighs> Deal. Are the you the voice thieves? So Fess up, loud. little dudes. Oh, hold on, guys. I can't hear them. The Wiffles can't hear us either because we're so quiet and they're so loud. Where is Cher's voice? Oh, it's uh, right here. We took turns using it. We didn't mean any harm. Huh? We just wanted to borrow a voice. That maybe the Wiffles would listen to. We have something very important to tell them, but they're so busy arguing all the time, they can't hear us. No, it's my turn to do it. You did it last time. Fuck, Ma. The two. It's my turn to do it. Doesn't seem like borrowing Cher's voice was very helpful. This voice didn't help either. At least I tried. I got this. Cher says she will listen to you. <laughs> Nailed it! Charade a king. We'll all listen to you. Well, these fields of flowers are as old as the silver lining. We've lived here a very long time. You two are running out of room to live. We need more flowers to make more of our underground homes. But planting our magical flowers is something only you Wiffles can do. We know where there's a secret clearing that has room for many more of our flowers. Will you help us? <sighs> My ice flowers. Your ice flowers? 
How come you're growing them here? This place used to be warm. It grows warmer on my mountain. Avalanches swept my flowers away. I brought my snow here to keep them alive. I am very sorry. I thought no one lived here. But now where can I go? The plateau where we built the skate park would be perfect. Except the skate park is there. Huh. Let's give it to her. But your skate park! Hey, if Dibble's willing to give up Snowy, it's the least I can do. <gasps> oh no! Snowy! Now your friend will never melt. Oh, thank you! Follow us. We'll lead you there. <laughs> Just point the way, and we can go together. What is this? Why didn't you just let me fall? That's not what we do. We care about people. <laughs> yeah, right. You care about someone like me? It's our job, bro. Fixing that thing is my job. You're not gonna stop me? No. We just want you to think about what you're doing. And what it'll mean to the kids on Earth who won't get our help if your boss wins. We're taking an awful big chance on that guy. My heart tells me it's a good chance to take. We just want you to think about what you're doing. And what it'll mean to the kids on Earth who won't get our help if your boss wins. Oh, Malcolm! Uh. You're too slow! Step aside. Let the boss show you how it's done. <laughs> What are you waiting for, Malcolm? Test your gadget! Make sure it works! Oh, it'll work all right. What's that? Oh, well, imagine that! The shield shut down! Oh, now nothing is protecting my blizzard maker from those mean old Care Bears. He did it. Hooray! <laughs>